Hey brothers and sisters, I hope you're having an amazing day today. I want to greet you in the name of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't forget to like, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos, and leave any comments if you have any questions or concerns about God or anything. So, anyway, today I'm going to be making a video talking about lust. And yes, I know I talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it but for from a different point different point of view. So y'all can eat so I can help y'all conquer it because out of every sin I struggle with, lust was one of the biggest things things I struggle struggle with next to pride as well. And before I do go into the topic, I'm gonna read from first Corinthians chapter six verse eighteen. And it says, Free fornication, for any other sin you do is outside your body. But fornication is the sin against your own body. Brothers and sisters, let's say if there is a cake cake in front of you, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all had cake cake before. I'm assuming every one of y'all had cake before. Let's say, I don't know, imagine any kind of comfort food was in front, in front of you. And you know, you know it tastes good. Heck, it, is, the, it smells good. Even the cake smells good. And, but you know deep down it's not good for you. It's not. It's not good for you. But because it smells good, and and because your mind knows how it tastes, you get you give in to the temptation, and you eat the eat the comfort food, and unfortunately, you, that you you're getting that cheap dopamine. Dopamine. It feels good at the moment, but long term, it's gonna affect affect you. It's not, it's gonna affect you and that's gonna have consequences because every time you eat you eat that comfort food, your body is absorbing is absorbing the nutrients, absorbing absorbing the things that you don't even know so absorbing ingredients you don't even know know about. And it's it's absorbing empty calories and guess what? You're getting fatter and also getting weaker and your lifespan is increasing and Eventually, you die. And just like and just like your tendency eat that cake, so is lust enti enticing. And lust, uh, I'm pretty sure every every man, most mostly every man, struggle with. And this and lust is what brings brings a man down to his knees. And I compared to any other sin, I. Lust has got to be one of the most enticing sins out out there. And the thing about about lust, it promise. It thing is, it promises you to satis satisfy that longing in your heart for a wife, or long that that longing, longing for that sexual desire to be fulfilled at the moment. It promise. The thing is, it promises promises you to that it'll fulfill your fantasy, your little fantasies that goes on your heads. That's what the, that's what it promises you. That's what lust prom promises. But we all know that the devil is a liar. That all those promises are false, and lust is very deceiving. And another thing about about lust is that it's selfish. Being lustful is is being selfish. You guys, the thing about the thing you should know know about lust is not. I'm pretty sure it's for those who struggle with any any pornography addiction, masturbation addiction, or fornicated with many girls, been a, been a, you're a form, you're a former whoremonger, or you've been on OnlyFans, whatever whatever you struggle with that is lust related, I'm pretty sure y'all know that it's based on selfish ambitions, and it's based on its de desires of flesh. And all and all lust cares about is gratifying the self. It doesn't care, thing is that it doesn't care it doesn't care about the other person. It all cares about itself, satisfying itself, satisfying itself, gratifying itself. And you're not worried about the other person. All you're worried about is get is what you get what you get out of them. And if they can't give you what you want, then they mean nothing to you. And that only and that not only hurts the other person, but you're hurting yourself, self, brother. 
Like, I'd be the one saying it. Like, do you, do you really think that your future wife wants you watching pornography? Do you think your future wife wants you watching mass masturbating to these some of these online girls who don't even know their worth, who, who are waste, who are wasting their potential, giving their foul away, away to other men? Do you really want to? Do you really want? Does your wife really want you masturbating to those kind of girls? Does your does your wife even want you masturbating in general? No, of course not. She doesn't. She does not want that kind of man. No, she doesn't. Especially, especially if you're gonna have children. Like the thing is, I don't care what what society says. The father is sexy, sexy example in the household, regard regardless. For for the brothers. And a woman sets the example for, for the girls, for, for the girls to be, be feminine. The father sets the example as a masculine man. And if you're, if you're a father and you're struggling with, and you're choosing to give, give in to, the, to these temptations willfully, then let me tell you all this. Compare, you, if you're forcing your, your kid to be successful yet you yourself are going to the hub, then you're a hypocrite. Like, you're setting a bad example for your child. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, it is what it is. And the thing is that we need, rather, rather you, y'all plan to get married or not, y'all need to conquer lust. Y'all need to conquer it. And, but this time, I'm gonna talk about love. And I know y'all know about First Corinthians chapter 13 Love is patient Love is kind It's not boastful does not envy It's not self-seeking Self-seeking It seeks It seeks to honor Honor others It seeks the best For, for the For the other person Without expecting anything to return That's what love is And lust is the complete opposite of that And the only way you could have that type of love Is by knowing Knowing the Lord Jesus Christ the one who showed us what true love was. The one who, the one who, get, became the sac sacrificial lamb for all the humanity, so that we won't have to perish but have everlasting life. So he could have a personal relationship with you. But unfortunately, because sin is in this world, sin has separated man from from the presence of the Most High. And lust takes takes man's focus off of God. And what I hear, what I heard is that there's a lot of men, men and women in the church struggling with fornication in the, in the churches. Like, it, right? I don't care what your pastor says. I don't really don't. I really don't. You should care what the Bible says. And if your pastor is not preaching according to the Bible, then y'all need to start running. Y'all need to start running far away from that church because I promise you that pastor is going to lead, lead you astray. He's going to lead, lead you to the lake of fire. And the thing is that he belongs, he belongs to the devil. He's one of the, one of the devil's angels, devil's workers. It is, it's the truth. Like, call me what you want. But that's, that's the truth. Like, like if you, your pastor should, your your pastor should be be preaching according to the word of God. He should be leading y'all y'all to Christ, not away from Christ. Like hello, if your pastor ain't doing that, then he ain't no pastor. He should be being on the pulpit. Today, if you're gonna if you're gonna get get married to marry one day. One of your first steps, first steps in in your do is by conquering lust. Actually, y'all need y'all need to repent and turn away from lust, and actually come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Y'all need to have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, because how can how can you how can you be a good husband when you don't even see see your wife as as a human being? Because I could I could say for personal experience. Personal experience that that when I when I struggle with lust like badly, 
I didn't see women as human beings. I didn't. And honestly, that really that really messed mess with my thinking. It wasn't, although I didn't care at the, care at the time because you know, I was young. But as I get grew older, I look back and look how far I came. Although I have my challenges here or there, but I don't let it get the best of me. But the thing is, I have more freedoms over, over less because I have the Lord Jesus Christ on my side. My question to y'all is, do you have Jesus on your side? Do you? Did it, the only way way you're gonna love your love your wife is by com is by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ and conquering love lust. Because the thing is that your wife, your future wife, whoever it may be, is a human being. She, she's, she's not an angel. None of these women out here are angels. I suggest you stop. You stop going on social media. You stop watching girls work on social media who are giving their vow away to other men and go touch some grass. And get, and get your nose in the word of God in Jesus' name. The solution solution is that one one of the things that you gotta de develop a hate hate for for lust de develop a hate for pornography masturbation only fans you gotta develop a hate a hatred for that it's one of the reasons I don't want to look at that trash anymore because I I freaking hate it because it's destroying a lot of men out here spiritually. And it's making men weak and effeminate. That's why I hate it. You need to find your reason why you hate it. You need to find your why. Why you why you gotta conquer it. And another day, another day is that you need to have someone you need to have someone who is account, accountable accountable to you. And I do have I do have friends, have brothers in Christ who friends who recently gave their life to Jesus. They're still struggling with masturbation. They're still struggling with pornography. But as a brother, as a brother in Christ, I'm I'm helping them. I'll help, I'm helping them conquer, conquer their lust and the, and draw and come closer to God. Because that's that's what that's what a brother in Christ does when he loves his brethren. We help each other out. We fellowship with one another. Accountability, develop a hatred for it, and finally cut up, cut, cut it off. Whatever, take a break for technology, and again, go touch some grass, y'all. Like, and if you need to do something, something like schoolwork, then I understand. But make sure you you have some extensions on it. Like, I'll leave, I'll leave a, I'll leave an app on in the description. And if you if you go on your phone, if you if you know you know, but add extensions to your computer to your to your or your phone to block to keep you for for going out on the on the websites, or heck, t t do a social media detox, and it really it really helps. I'm I personally when I was when I was getting over my core addiction, I did a social media detox and it really helped me out. Those so those those are one of the tips I I I, can, I recommend personally, but most importantly, come to the Lord Jesus Christ, have a personal relationship with Him, spend time in the Word of God, pray, develop a prayer life, and also do some fasting to help you conquer, to help you to hunt so that you can draw closer to God and He'll help you conquer it, and also worship Him. Thank. Thank you for all for what he has done for life or what he's about to do for your life. Get into those spiritual disciplines so that you can draw closer to God. Because it says to James, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. The only way you, you, can, you can go lust is by shifting your eyes to Christ and off, and off, the, and off the nasty, nasty stuff and, and onto Christ. That's the most important thing that you need to do to conquer lust.
Anyway, that's all I got. I do pray this video help, will help you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and help you conquer your lust. But it won't end there. You're still going to have some, some challenges. Challenges. Lust, the thing is that the enemy will come, will try to get you to go back to it. But the thing is, you have, have Jesus by your side. You have God by your side. As long as you have God by your side, you have the victory. As long as, long as you keep the faith and your trust in Jesus Christ. And and that's it. Until then, brothers and sisters, don't be religious, follow Christ.